everyone welcome back to another vlog so today is a sunday it's really early well it's not early at all i feel like i just have a habit of saying oh yeah it's really early when it's actually 20 past 11 this morning oh my god there's a bee this morning i literally did not want to get up out of bed like my main channel videos go live at 10 a.m and i always make an excuse i'm like no i can lay in bed until 10 a.m because then i can like promote the video at 10 reply to comments so i'm like oh i won't do anything before and i ended up waking up at seven and then went back to bed until a quarter to ten there's the b again I'm finally up, I'm ready, and I've actually been watching the most interesting documentary this morning. So it is called the Bob Lazar documentary. And he's basically someone who used to work at Area 51 and then came forward and kind of like came clean on what is actually there. And if you guys watch my videos or know anything about me, you would know that I absolutely love anything to do with aliens or Area 51 or conspiracy theories, anything like that. And this is the most interesting documentary I've watched so far. Like I don't want to spoil it just in case you want to watch it. I'm watching it on YouTube. I had to buy it. It was like $2.99 to rent for like 48 hours or something like that but it is so interesting without spoiling it basically the government kind of like erased every single like fact about him so like even when he says oh he went to this school there's no evidence that he went to this school or when he says that he worked at this place there's no evidence because they erased it but then there's a few things that like they forgot to erase that does actually prove that he's telling the truth and it's really kind of complicated to explain and i don't want to like spoil it but if you really do want to watch it i would definitely recommend it i'm loving it i've got about 20 25 minutes left and i'm gonna watch it when i get home but it's really good i have now finished getting ready i've got on this super cute little play suit it's like a wait i don't really know how to show you guys this i'm sitting on a stool but it's like shorts it's really really cute and then it's got like the bardo thing at the top here and it's just very very summery and i'm also super pale at the moment so please excuse that but i am just going to finish off my makeup by doing my eyebrows i literally get so many questions about what i do with my eyebrows now or like what i'm doing on a day where i don't want to fill them in blah 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 because i used to fill my eyebrows in super super like thick and blocky and now i literally don't do anything to them the only ever brow products i will use on my eyebrows are from benefit i absolutely love the range they have to offer my favorite one of all time is the benefit gimme brow i'll either use the shade two or the shade three and it is perfect but when i want to fill them in a little bit more i will actually use the precisely my brow pencil they are now offering it in 12 different shades my shade is either two 2.5 or three i can kind of like branch in between those shades this shade that i have here is 2.5 and it's like a darker blonde color so i wanted to support benefits quick act natural precisely in my brow campaign that they are running through june this year so they have challenged me to do a 60 second brow challenge and i need to fill my eyebrows in in 60 seconds using the precisely my brow pencil i'm not gonna lie it only ever takes me really 30 40 seconds to do my eyebrows anyway so i'm gonna start now but i don't like fill my eyebrows in and like draw them and carve them out i literally just do upward stroke hairs just to make them look a little bit more full the only place i like to add a few more hairs is at the front because my eyebrows are quite sparse but overall you won't really be able to tell a massive difference because i don't do anything big to them i just love the natural brow look this shade is also my absolute perfect match which is amazing so 2.5 if you have eyebrows very similar shades to me you need this shade i'm also just going to add a few extra hairs at the end as well i just love the kind of like bushy brow look i used to love the perfect brow look and now i'm just all here for the big bushy brows i'm going to be honest that did not take me 60 seconds because it is that amazing and then i'm going to use the 24 hour brow setter just to set my eyebrows in place and again i'm just going to brush the hairs up because i love the bushy brow look benefit brow products are just my fave like i was saying gimme brow is like my go-to brow product ever but this setting gel as well is amazing because look how it makes my hair stand up oh my god i love it so for 24 hours only which is very fitting you know because i love a good 24 hour challenge you guys can actually get 15% off the precisely my brow pencil they rarely ever offer money off of this so this is incredible you can go down below click the link in the description box and you will get 15% off your brow pencil as you can see it gives you great brows super super quickly it doesn't break easy there's a great shade range and overall it is just incredible so that is kind of what I do to my brows on an everyday basis just super super quick super easy and now I'm ready for the day honestly I don't really know what I'm going to do today I'm actually going to go and film a main channel video which I'm excited for I've never really done anything like it as well so i feel like you guys might really like it and then i think i'm just gonna like spend some time with atticus really because i'm actually going on holiday i'm going to la and i'm going on friday and i really haven't spoken about it so i think i'm going to speak about it a little bit we've kind of made into a thing now where like every year around summer we're going to go to la just because we absolutely love it me and all my friends 
kids love it last year i went out there for i think it was a week and i flew out by myself it was the first time me getting a long flight by myself it was kind of scary i didn't want to go to vidcon last year but all my friends did so that's why i flew out a bit later and again i'm just not too interested in going this year i love going to the events in the uk but in america i don't really have that much of an american audience so i'm just not really too fussed about going but this year we are flying out very early so all my friends are flying out on wednesday the 26th but i actually have a really exciting job that i'm doing on the 27th so i'm flying out on the 28th and then i'm actually staying there until either the 15th of july which is when like has and byron and freya and ella are flying home which is who i'm going with or i'm going to stay out a bit longer with saf and then possibly come home around the 22nd i haven't made my mind up yet because saf is flying out later and then she's going to vidcon and then she's staying in la after whereas i'm going to like la before vidcon so we've kind of gone at like different times and kira is also flying out as well but we've basically just made it into a thing where in summer which gonna fly out to LA and have a good time. It's gonna be a holiday but I'm also obviously gonna be filming videos out there. I'm also planning on getting my first tattoo which is really exciting. I've been planning what I want for a while now and I finally think I've got it. It's quite like basic i'm not gonna lie but it's something that means a lot to me there's actually two i want but i'm just a bit like skeptical about the second and before i get it i need to make sure that it's like actually what i want on my body forever so i'm flying out on friday i'm flying out alone which is going to be sad and even like last year my mum drove me to gatwick but this year i'm like getting the train like i'm fully traveling by myself but i'm very excited i feel very like adulty you know what I mean? So I still need to pack. I still actually need to order some clothes because obviously last year I went out for a week. Whereas this year, I think it's either three weeks or four weeks that I meant I'm going to end up being out there. And obviously I'm going to vlog. I'm going to do main channel videos. I've pre-filmed a couple of videos, but not really many. So a lot of my videos are going to be filmed in LA, which I'm personally so excited for because I've got some good stuff planned. I've also got so many friends in LA that I only obviously get to see when I'm over there. So hopefully I will get some of them in the vlogs. I really want to meet up with them so we've been like messaging back and forth to see like when everyone's free and stuff but yeah so exciting stuff planned so that is me i'm flying to la on friday we're gonna go to like universal i think we're gonna go to disney we're gonna go to the beach we're gonna do everything in la so look forward to the vlogs but today i don't really know what i'm gonna be doing like i kind of need to prep for la a bit to be honest so i guess i could do that in this vlog and obviously i need to film but i guess we're just gonna see where the vlog takes us my first part of filming is done and my camera is absolutely boiling but i've now got another little bit of filming to do i think i'm actually going to do a mukbang and a little like chit chat vlog just to kind of upload and answer a load of questions that you guys have been wanting the answers to so i think i'm going to go and do that now then i'm going to head home and i'm going to start la prep so that is what this video is going to be i'm just absolutely boiling like i don't even know the temperature right now oh it's 27 degrees how i'm roasting guess what i'm about to have like the hundredth bath i've ever run on youtube because all i seem to do in my vlogs is run baths i just got out of the bath and look how pale i am i'm trying to avoid fake tanning because i want a fake tan before i go on like thursday night so i'm just trying to stay like super pale until then and my skin is kind of in the middle of a breakup right now i think it's because i'm just coming off my period and i tend to get spots towards the end of my period i know when i'm in the middle of a period because i just get these random like really big red spots so i've got like a load on my sheet here this side isn't too bad my forehead isn't too bad normally my chin is worse but it's actually just this cheek and i've just freshly brushed my hair and i'm going to do my skincare routine in a minute as well i'm just going to go downstairs and get a snack and then i'm going to talk you guys through what i do to my skin because like i said at the moment i've been having a little bit of a breakout i've been trying a few new products and i found a range that i do really like not an ad not sponsored just genuinely stuff that i really like also look how precious this is so Atticus went to see Toy Story 4 the other day and he come home and he made us all four keys and it's so cute and he wrote my name on the bottom as well like he like they did in the movie honestly how sweet is that so I've popped it up there mum's got one downstairs as well and Atticus has got one in his room but is it going to stand well I think I need to press it down oh no have I broken it no, I haven't. Wait, there we go. There's Forky. Hi, Atticus. Hi, Anna. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. What have you been doing today? Uh, playing. What have you been playing? Toys. Toys? Yeah. What toys? Uh, dinosaurs. What dinosaurs? Every dinosaur I've got. Wow, the lucky boy. Yeah. <laughs> what have you been watching on YouTube? <laughs> Dinosaurs. No, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dinosaur T Rex fight videos. Hello. What? What are your videos? You watch one of my videos? Yeah. 
What one? The one when you had to say yes for me for 24 hours. Oh, of course you're watching that one. I want to do it in Smith Toys next time. You want to do it again? In Smith Toys. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> then then today, then, then Tesco, that, then <gasps> we'll finish that one off. Oh! In Tesco. <laughs> I was just showing everyone that you made me a forky. Yeah. And that there's there's yours. Um, knife. We need some more play doh. And you made a knife one, and you made a spoon <coughs> one as well. And you've got your Toy Story figures up there. Yeah, but would might we thought Bo Peep was new, but he's not. No. So yeah. Yeah. Um. So can we go on like? Oh. You want to go on live Instagram? Yeah, so... No, because you're always so naughty when we go on live. I'm not going to be this time. Honestly, if you guys have ever watched one of our Instagram lives, you would know how naughty Atticus is. I'm not. Like I said, I wanted to talk you guys through what I was using on my skin at the moment. So, I recently bought a new face wash. It's the Clean and Click Exfoliating Daily Wash. And I am loving it so far. I mean, I don't think it's necessarily, like, cleared my skin up or made a difference that way. But I feel like it's cleaning my skin. Plus, when I get it in my eyes as well, like, it doesn't hurt. And that's, like, a massive thing. Because I just get really scared of getting it in my eyes and then it really hurting. But this doesn't hurt me at all. And then I've recently been using the Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel range. And I'm really liking it. This this is the face scrub. I've only used it maybe like four or five times, but it's really good stuff. I've been using their blemish stick, their back facial spray, because I basically get, I don't know if this is the right name for it, but back knee. It's like back acne. I get really bad spots on my back. And then I found this back spray that they do, and I was like, oh my god. It's like specific back spray for back spots. So I spray that on every single night before I put my pajamas on, and that is really helping clear it up. It basically just like fights the spots and makes the area clean again. So obviously I clean it in the shower, but like it just gives it that extra like you know i've also been using their non-shine moisturizer which is really good and what else have i tried from their stuff i tried the pore strips they're really good me and my friend jen were using them the other night actually and they're like a two-step one so you've got like the pore strip which rips everything out and then you've got one to put on after which closes your pores i have a massive pile of clothes down there that i really need to sort through like that is all washing that needs to be packed away that is dirty washing and then that is a bag of stuff i need to take back to three different shops and i've just dumped it all in a primer bag so i can go and do that this morning and then my room is just a bit messy at the moment like i've got some crisps i'm gonna eat i was eating a white twig which is amazing um but yeah it's just a little a bit messy really so i think i'm just gonna edit and just avoid this it is now the next day i am officially the worst vlogger in the world i have been out all day and i forgot my camera because i was only planning on going out until like 12 and then me and Sinisha ended up going shopping and then suddenly now it's like half past five but i'm gonna do you guys a try and haul because i bought some more bits for la i went into the massive primark shop and also went to top shop to go and buy some new jeans and i'm kind of obsessed so trying all time so my first outfit is this top from primark i got it in quite like an oversized so i just kind of need to work out how to style it but it was in the men's section and it just says the beetles on it it's got them crossing the road and then i got these jeans from topshop i'm literally obsessed with these honestly i rarely ever wear jeans but i just thought to myself like annie actually need to like buy some just buy some i needed to get out of leggings and joggers basically so i bought these ones and i love them they're like the they're like three quarter length ones and they're all like ripped at the bottom and then that is what they look like from behind and i basically just really really liked these so this is my first outfit these are like 42 i think and then this top was like nine maybe okay next i got one of these tops that literally everyone is obsessing over at the moment it's from pretty little thing and then i got the exact same jeans just in a darker version i just thought this whole outfit is so cute that's what they look like from the back i don't know i just really liked it it's so different for me but with this handbag hang on i keep saying everything with this handbag but cute yeah cute <laughs> then i got this nasa top and i thought this was so so cute this is from the men's section in primark i mean i don't even know if i'll end up going out in it like it might just be one of those tops that i sleep in but i just put some cycling shorts underneath it and i think it looks so cute like it was actually eight pounds and then maybe if i wear it for the cap like obviously with my hair like right maybe maybe it's a look maybe it's a bed top who knows and then i got another bikini i actually got this one from primark it was like four quid i think is that say four pound yeah four pounds and i literally am obsessed with this it's like a bright neon pink color i don't know what is going on with these bottoms i think i need to go back and get a big size in the bottoms but i'm literally obsessed with this i love the color i never wear neon like neon is literally just not my thing at all but i'm literally obsessed with this set and obviously as well like right now i'm literally like as pale as can be imagine when i'm brown yeah and then i also went and got some other bits so i just got this massive toiletry bag just so i can put all of my toiletries in it it also comes with a brush holder so i guess i could use it for my makeup but i feel like that's going to be perfect for toiletries and then i just bought 
a plain black one as well just because this one is wrecked and I just needed a new makeup bag anyway so both of those were £10. Then I bought a bikini bag because we will be spending a lot of days at the beach and I thought this would come in handy that I could just take this bag and obviously put my bikini in one part and then like toiletries or whatever in the other. I think this was like £4, let me just check. How much was it? Yeah, £4, I think that's so cool as well. Then I picked up three pairs of my favourite eyelashes from GWA, I'm saving these all for America. These are the Princess Lashes, absolute favourites, I wear them all the time. I got some really cool sunglasses, I literally love these, they just remind me of like the Kardashians, I don't know why, and they were like £3, so I picked up those. And then I got some sun protection, this is only SPF 15 because I do actually want to tan while I'm out there, and then I also just got a mini bottle of it as well, and this is oil spray with SPF 15 in it. That's everything that I bought. I spent like, I don't even know how it happened, but I spent like 120 pounds. I think it was because the jeans from Topshop are like 40 pounds each. And then I did exchange some stuff as well. So to be fair, it wasn't too, too bad. But I am now gonna jump in the shower because I've been out all day and I'm sweaty. Like all I wanna do is walk around in this bikini. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna have a catch up about Love Island because I haven't done that for a while. And then I'm also gonna sit and edit my video and plan two more videos that I need to film. But oh my God, look at this. That is so much better. All the mess is tidied away. All my holiday clothes are ready to go in there for when I pack in a few days. My bed is still a little bit messy, but I'm going to tidy that now. I'm going to jump in the shower and then get straight in there. Also ignore that, that's fake tan, they're going in the wash. Right, I have just come off of FaceTime to Byron. I also Uber Eats McDonald's, which is like not what I said I was gonna do. I was literally like, yeah, I'm going on a McDonald's ban. <laughs> Am I? Absolutely not. You know when you're just laying there like, I had to have one. Like I literally had to have one. Is that Byron? No, I was just trying to see if someone was typing on Snapchat and I thought it was Byron because he just cut FaceTime off on me. We were just having a conversation about like planning LA and everything because so basically <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down and we're gonna have a conversation. <laughs> everyone else, like Ella, Freya, Byron has, like everyone's packing and like pretty much ready to go because they're all flying out on Wednesday. But obviously I'm not flying out until Friday, so I'm kind of like a couple of days behind because I've got like a few bits that I need to do before I fly out. But we were all just having a discussion. And I was like, okay, Haz, I'm not messing with you. So their flight is at 10 past two and my flight is at 10 past two as well on Friday. So I'm leaving for the airport with my friend at 8 a.m. Okay, it takes us like two and a half hours to get there, but I know me and him will end up stopping for food on the way. So he was like, I'll come and pick you up at 8 a.m. and then we'll leave, we can take a drive, get food, blah, blah, blah. We'll get you to the airport for 11. I was like, perfect. Because obviously it's an international flight, you're meant to be there like three hours before. Now Haz and Byron <laughs> live in London and they're all traveling from where they live in London. And it's gonna take them a good like, 45 minutes on the tube and then another half an hour on the Gatwick Express and Haz was like we're gonna leave mine at 11 I went what she's like yeah we're gonna leave at 11 I was like you're not gonna get to the airport until like half past 12 1 and then the flight is at 10 past 2 and it's an international flight. Byron was like, I'm not messing with her. And I was like, okay, I'm not messing with her too. Like, you guys will probably end up missing your flight and be on my flight on Friday. So that's the uh, situation with the flights at the moment. I am... Um not really sure what to do now. I want to get in the shower and then I still need to edit. I keep getting sidetracked. It's because people keep FaceTiming and I was talking to all my friends and then we were making plans and then next thing you know, it's currently quarter past 10 and I'm like, I still have got a vlog to edit and a main channel video to edit. Guess who is just literally the worst person ever and fell straight to sleep last night as soon as I got into bed. I did a little bit of editing and then I went to cut the vlog camera and I literally just fell asleep. I was so tired. But good morning everyone. I am going to finish this vlog by talking about Love Island. I'm all caught up now. There's a few episodes I missed and I finally caught up. Honestly, Amber and Michael are my favourite couple. I really wasn't a fan of Amber in the beginning. Like, if you watch my vlog from a couple of days ago, I was basically saying I thought Amber was a bit rude, but actually, she's just really strong on girl code, and I think they just edited her to only show, like, the kind of rude, sassy parts, when obviously she's not like that 24-7. Her and Michael are definitely my favourite couple. I think they're so cute, and I actually think they're probably going to go on and win the show. Amy and Curtis, I like them. Like, I like Curtis. There's something about Amy I'm not too sure on like i don't exactly know what it is again it might just be how she's edited but obviously they're like quite a strong couple at the moment last night as i was spoiler if you haven't seen it you one day actually left i haven't watched like the last 20 minutes of that episode so i'm not sure how or why it came to be that she left i think danny might have coupled up with arabella and then maybe that's why she left i'm not too sure i personally really liked her and i just feel like she needed more time to kind of like open up because not everyone can easily like show their emotions and just like open up overnight so 
I feel like they just needed to give her a little bit more time but obviously she hasn't got that now so she has left the villa I like Arabella like I think she's absolutely beautiful and I think she seems so so lovely but I feel like when she told you one day like what she told her I just feel like it was a little bit like I don't know I feel like there was a bit of sour intention behind it um but obviously you one day deserve to know but oh my god Anna I absolutely love Anna I think she's so funny when she first went in I was like oh I don't know like I don't know if I'm gonna like her but I think she's absolutely hilarious plus she is so beautiful as well that is my update on Love Island I am now gonna end this vlog here because I am gonna carry on filming some videos for you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up and I will see you very very soon for a brand new vlog Mwah. bye